Bonjour, je suis Jean-Laurent Nijan de l'Armée de l'Air Française, adjudant, et je regarde JBLE TV. On this week's edition of JBLE TV, we'll see how the military is helping civilians stay in shape and the pilot's visit to an aviation academy. These stories and more coming up on this edition of JBLE TV. Hello, and welcome to this episode of JBLE TV. I'm Emirin First Class Enrique Barcelo. A 5K walk and run kicks off an initiative to get dependents and other civilians in shape. Airman Amanda Dole has the story. The Civilian Fitness Commander's Cup Challenge kicked off at Fort Eustis on January 7th with a 5K walk run. The goal of the program is to promote civilian health and wellness and will consist of monthly lunch and learn seminars fitness assessments, and evaluations. So we thought by integrating this to our civilians as well as dependents and family members, the main purpose is we want to make sure that we get our civilian population to move. Participants will earn points for the different activities they participate in. The program will finish with an award ceremony on June 29th. The Commander's Cup will be awarded to the organization with the largest percentage of participation. I am excited about the program and it's a way to get people out and get them to move. But also, we know that there are many benefits of exercise. For more information or to sign up, email civilianfitnessjble at gmail.com. Reporting from Fort Eustis, Virginia, I'm Airman Amanda Dole. Your heart is the hardest working muscle in your body. Each minute it pumps 1.5 gallons of blood to keep you alive. But if you don't take care of your heart, it will eventually fail you. So stay active eat a heart-healthy diet, and manage your stress. You're never too old or too young to take care of your heart. Why not start now? Dinby High School and Aviation Academy wanted to know what it takes to be a pilot, so Langley Air Force Base sent one of its own to answer some questions. And in first class, Nicholas Myers tells us more. One of Langley's T-38 pilots visited local Dinby High School and Aviation Academy to mentor and speak with female students. The students were able to ask Captain Nicole Single Stillwell questions about flying and seek advice for careers in the Air Force. For one student who aspires to be an F-22 pilot, Captain Stillwell's message was clear. If you work hard and you try hard, you can get there as long as you put your mind to it and as long as you don't give up or try to change at last second, you can get where you want to go. The Academy provides high school students lessons on the history of avionics. They also provide hands-on training in different aspects of avionics engineering and piloting. Captain Stillwell's visit helps to provide a sense of realism to their training. I think it's important to show them that, you know, five, six years ago I was in their shoes and now I'm here and kind of explain the steps that I took to get there. Dr. Aaron Smith, program director for the Aviation Academy, hopes this visit opens the door for more interaction between the Academy and the local military population. Reporting from Langley Air Force Base, Virginia, I'm Airman First Class Nicholas Myers. Thank you, Airman Myers. That's all for this edition of JBLE TV. I'm Airman First Class Enrique Barcelo, Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. Be sure to tune in to our next episode to learn how soldiers and airmen work together to help a military working dog. This story and more on JBLE TV.